Hi there, good evening everyone, or good day to you all. Today, you might be asking what I am up to. Recently, Martin and I were thinking in what creative way we can send our Christmas greetings to family and friends, both here and abroad. Apart from the traditional giving of cards and gifts, we thought of sharing what we think we are good at, that is singing you a Christmas carol. But lately, God is challenging me not just to sing, but to share some of my personal reflections. I must admit, I am reluctant to do it. Because as always, I'll rather be in the background listening, supporting, praying, and encouraging men and women of God sharing God's word, rather than me doing it. Besides, it's personal. I'll rather just cherish it in my heart. But this is the thing. Would I rather obey the prompting of the Holy Spirit or disobey and regret later on? Of course, I'd rather obey and allow him to be glorified in my life. So, let me share with you my reflection that evolved from this simple question. What would Christmas 2020 be like? Yes, what would Christmas 2020 be like? We heard from majority of people saying Christmas would be totally not the same like previous years. I even thought that myself. Why not the same? I asked. In view of COVID-19 restrictions, we could truly say, truly say it is definitely different from what we traditionally do singing Christmas carols at church, Christmas parties here and there, nights out, exchanging gifts, physically going to shops instead of online, putting up our Christmas trees and preparing food and celebrating with our family and friends and etc. But now, most of them are not happening, especially partying with family and friends. So, what should be my response to this change? Would I feel indifferent and treat 2020 as if it never existed? God made me realize that there is one thing that remains unchanged and nothing and no one can alter this truth. He brought my attention to the very core and heart of Christmas. Yes, Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus, who is God's precious and perfect gift for you and me. He is Christ, the Savior of sinful humanity. Therefore, I should not allow the spirit of Christmas to be tainted by external circumstances. My Jesus should be my reason for the celebration. Through this COVID, God is stripped away the unnecessary baggages that causes me distraction because I'm not focusing on him alone. God is calling me back to the very heart of Christmas. It's all about Jesus, accepting him as God's precious gift for our salvation and to enjoy him and to enjoy his personal and close fellowship with us. One of the worship songs that I love to sing is Heart of Worship. The song goes this way, the chorus. 
I'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you it's all about you Jesus so this Christmas season I pray that may we find ourselves returning to the very heart of Christmas. It's all about Jesus, the Christ of Christmas. Nothing else and no one else. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. Like the story of the prodigal son, let us return to the Lord. Amen. Allow us to share with you this heartwarming Christian or Christmas song rather, entitled, O Holy Night. Be blessed, brothers and sisters.
have a truly meaningful Christ-centered Christmas and a spirit-filled 2021 to us all. Bye. Hi everyone. Um, this morning I'd just like to briefly bring a uh, message to you uh, to encourage you um, and I hope you do find it encouraging today as we look at uh, the first few verses in the book of John chapter 1. Let's read. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world didn't know him. He came to his own, and his own people didn't receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but born of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Now, I don't really intend to take too much time uh, from you today, but um, let's see how we do. Because I'd just like to focus on one passage from verse 5, which is this. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. With all that's gone on in the world in 2020, I want to encourage you that the light of Jesus still shines. And as we all press on into what might become a difficult future for all of us, we can still face that future in the knowledge that all things work together for good for those who love God, those who have been called according to his purpose and armed with the confidence in knowing that he who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Whatever happens in the world over the next few months and years as believers in Christ we can have confidence that our futures are secure because we believe in the one who is the light of the world. And if that light is shining within us, we have nothing to fear. For darkness cannot put out that eternal flame that Christ has put within us. And if Christ is, in, is within us, then being people of the light is who we are and what we are supposed to be. I don't know how each of us is going to have to work that out especially as the world and its authorities are trying their best to snuff out each individual light. But I can tell you that each of us better find a way to work it out. So seek the Lord while he may be found. Put everything you have into cultivating your relationship with the God of creation. Don't allow the distractions of the world to discourage you. Remember that the light of the world lives within you. Because of that, he has made you a vessel for him to shine through. We are light that can never be snuffed out. Remember that as we face 2021. Remember that as we face 2022 and if God tarries remember that as we face 2023 remember this he said to us 
in Matthew chapter 5 verses 14 to 16 that you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill can't be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but they put it on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Remember that over this Christmas period, that as we celebrate the light coming into the world, that Jesus the light has made us his lights in this world. And our lights should never be snuffed out. Keep on keeping on. Join me as I pray, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Have a Merry Christmas everybody and uh, I've prepared a song for you and I hope you enjoy it. i